welcome you all dear students in today's class we are going to study about the lesson the truly beautiful mind so we are going to study about the mind which is truly beautiful before you read who do you think of when you hear the word genius so when you heard the word genius what you will do what you are thinking about that particular word who is a genius what qualities do you think a genius has genius must acquire their thinking power and the way they think their mind so it's about genius and also it's very special skills then very great intelligence they must have to show their talent so that particular concept we can understand when we heard about the word genius right we shall now read about a young german civil servant who took the world by storm about a hundred years ago so what we are doing we shall read about a young german civil servant who is he a young german civil servant let us know in the summer of 1905 the 20 year old published 20 year old is referring to a person published in quick succession what do you mean by succession quick succession succession in the sense happening one after another so there is no rest for this work which is happened one after one one after another in this way Uh, some contributions happen or created by someone one after another so this is what we can call or we can understand about succession four ground breaking papers so what is that particular succession it's about four ground breaking papers about light the motion of particles the electrodynamics moving bodies and energy so these uh, four concept that person has shown his interest and he started to make his uh, contribution towards this his work took up only a few pages in scientific journals but changed forever our understanding of space time and the entire cosmos so his papers his work made to think in a different way forever and also understanding of uh, space time and entire cosmos cosmos universe and transformed the name einstein into a synonym for genius say for example here the narrator is going to say about the synonym for the word genius is einstein 15 uh, 50 years after his death einstein's genius still reigns reigns ruling so what is ruling here 50 years after his death what we have remember is only einstein's genius so einstein's genius is very much famous in this world similarly when you heard the word genius you have to think about einstein albert einstein got it Yes, Albert Einstein was born on fourteen March eighteen seventy nine in in the German city of 
ulma without any indication that he was destined for greatness without any indication there is no indication to represent his uh, greatness on the contrary so what is that contrary here his mother thought along with his greatness his mother thought that einstein was a freak what do you mean by freak a word used disapprovingly to talk about a person who is unusual and doesn't behave look or think like others so he is different according to his mother to her his head seemed much too large what she thought is she thought about his head seemed that too large as compared with another person's head at the age of 2 and 1/2 so 2 and 1/2 at the age of 2 and 1/2 einstein still wasn't talking so he was deaf when he finally did learn to speak so after he started to learn something to speak he uttered everything twice look at here when he started to speak when he learned to speak what he does is he uttered he pronounced everything twice for example i gave an ice cream i gave an ice cream like that so in this way he uttered everything twice einstein did not know what to do with other children so he totally confused about other children and his playmates who is playing with him called him brother boring why it is brother boring so you also thought about this thing when person is speaking the same matter again and again with you you got bored up with him so this is what actually his playmates felt about him so they used to call call him as brother boring so the youngster played by himself so as a result his playmates used to call him as uh, brother boring so they don't want to mingle with him so he has to live uh, his uh, friends and he used to play with himself only much of the time much of the time he played with himself he didn't mingle with another friends because they used to call him as brother boring otto now now gabber otto now gabber the historian of ancient mathematics historian wherein ancient mathematics told a story about the boy einstein that he characterizes as a legend so uh, einstein uh, he was characterized himself as legend legend in the sense a uh, very uh, very well known person or a star or celebrity we can call uh but it seems fairly it seems fairly authentic what is that authentic real genuine or original what is that authentic here about his character as he was a late talker so he was late talker his parents were worried at last at the supper table one night supper in the sense the last meal of the day so what happened at the time he broke his silence to say the soup is too hot so what did he say the soup is too hot suddenly he broke down his silence by saying like this greatly relieved to whom it is his parents 
His parents asked why he had never said a word before. So they thought immediately, why didn't he say this sentence before? Albert, Albert Einstein replied, because up to now, up to now, so till now, according to him, everything was in order. So which day he is talking about? The day when he said about the soup is too hot. So until everything is in order, everything is correct. But this particular day he felt the soup is too hot. So in this case, it is different to understand to his parents. Right? He especially loved mechanical toys. Looking at his newborn sister, Maja. Maja is the name of his sister. He is said to have said, fine, but where are her wheels? Look at that. Usually, especially, he loved mechanical toys. In the same See, this mechanical toys is applicable to his sister also. In his sister, he noticed mechanical toys and he used to ask, where are her wheels? So, this is the concept actually his mind is thinking about the mechanical toys is compared with his sisters. His sister. A headmaster once told his father that what Einstein chose as a profession wouldn't matter because he'll never make a success at anything. Einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of six. So his headmaster is talking about his uh, understanding in his school, school life. Uh, he used to say that he's not good in understanding the concept and all. So he said he won't uh, he wouldn't never uh, make a success at anything. He cannot uh, achieve anything in his life. He used to say that. Einstein began learning to play violin at the age of six. So he decided to learn violin. Because his mother wanted him to, or he later became a gifted amateur. Either it is amateur or amateur. Violinist, 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 maintaining this skill throughout his life. So his mother wanted to wanted him to learn about this particular musical instrument called the violin, and this way uh, he became a gifted uh, amateur violinist. Your amateur in the sense uh, person he used to play or you should learn pure meaning is given doing something for a personal enjoyment rather than as profession he didn't learn this con this musical instrument to uh, lead his life he studied this for his enjoyment or his pleasure but einstein albert einstein was not a bad pupil is not a bad pupil not a bad Student, he went to high school in Munich, in Munich, where Einstein's family had moved when he was 15 months old. So, when he was 15 months old, his family moved to Munich, Munich, the city where in Germany, and scored good marks in almost every subject. Einstein hated the school's regimentation. He is good in study, he is not a bad student. He earned very good marks in almost all subjects. But his not good in following school's discipline. See, regimentation. Regimentation is nothing but order or discipline taken to an extreme the discipline which you are following in school the same discipline is uh, not followed by this person who is a einstein and often clashed with his teachers about discipline he used to clash 
classed with classed with his teachers always at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled there that he left the school for good so because of this reason because of this uh, reason that is what stifled stifled in the sense unable to breath or uh, suffocated it's very difficult to uh, breathe to him at the age of uh, 15 the previous year albert's parents had moved to milan milan the city where in italy and left their son with relatives after prolonged prolonged the sense a lengthy discussion prolonged after long discussion einstein got his wish to continue his education in germany german speaking switzerland see uh, because of the reason stifled he left the school and uh, thereby the previous year his parents uh, took him to a relative's house there um, his relatives and his parents discussed about uh, his education then they came to know that or by the discussion they decided to uh, continue his education wherein german speaking switzerland why because uh, in a city wherein switzerland which was more liberal than munich so munich is very strict about discipline and all so that reason he used to clash with his uh, teachers but when we come to switzerland it is liberal than munich einstein was highly gifted in mathematics in mathematics subject is very good and interested in physics physics and mathematics very good subjects for him and after finishing after finishing school he decided to study at a university in zurich 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 the place where in switzerland but science wasn't the only thing that appealed to the dashing young man with walrus mustache so his mustache is compared with walrus a kind of animal which is lived where in uh, himalaya or uh, some of the area right that uh, animal having mustache like this so mustache is point after a uh, lips so this kind of mustache is uh, compared his mustache is compared with walrus mustache but science wasn't on the only thing that appealed to the dashing young man with the walrus mustache not only science but also something is there in mind to get interest so what is that particular thing let us study tomorrow or next class thank you so much dear students study this and understand